Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith and welcome to my view from the 40. Today is a special occasion because I'm coming to you in January. No, there are no games being played, but there's something that we need to celebrate and that is the career of Henry Burris. The man who was the savior to the Ottawa Red Blacks. He came in, he rode in on that proverbial horse and he helped bring a Grey Cup to Ottawa. Of course, giving all respect to his teammates. Henry Burris, though, without a doubt, has always been the leader of this team. Within three years, three years, they brought a Grey Cup to Ottawa. Check this. In the year 2014, Ottawa goes 2-16. and 16. The naysayers are thinking, oh, I don't know about this football in Ottawa. 2015, we go to the Grey Cup. Henry Burris wins the league's most outstanding player. 2016, we go to the Grey Cup as huge underdogs. And wouldn't you know it, not only does Ottawa win, but Henry Burris is named Grey Cup MVP. What better time for this smiling man to retire? Of course, he could come back, but come back for what? He's already won multiple Grey Cups. He's already won multiple Grey Cup MVPs. There really isn't a lot for him to do. It's his time to pass on the baton to Trevor Harris. Now, I'm sure the decision to stay or, or go probably wasn't an easy one, but then he probably looked at his beautiful wife, Nicole, his two wonderful sons, and said, you know what? They've given up so much of me, it's time for me to be there for them, and I respect that. I want to say a sincere thank you to Henry Burris, not only for what he's done for Ottawa, but what he's done for the CFL. Playing for four teams, going from city to city, and just, you know, electrifying crowds, getting people excited about this game. Whether you like him or whether you don't, Hamilton, you have to respect what he has done for this league. And as a fan of this league, I'm truly grateful that I got to, to be in a time where I got to see Henry Burris play. Now, I said before, retired, kinda, because Henry Burris, of course, announces his retirement earlier this week. And last night here in Ottawa, there was something called the Faces Awards. Now, for those of you who don't know, Faces is a magazine in Ottawa, and they have their annual awards where they hand out awards to different businesses, celebrities, um, just all sorts of different people. And wouldn't you know the MC for the Faces Awards was Henry Burris? I don't necessarily think Henry Burris is going to be taking it easy. I went to Walmart today and I was surprised that he wasn't there greeting people. Henry Burris is going to be one of those guys who's just all over the community doing a whole bunch of awesome stuff. And hey, I'm cool with that because we need more awesome people like Henry Burris in the community. So regardless of whatever you decide to do next, we'll all be there to support it. But most of all, thank you so much for everything that you've done for the CFL and for the Red Blacks. And I also thank you to your wonderful family for letting us borrow you for the last several years. So all the best to you. And I have no doubt that Trevor Harris is ready to, to lead because he had a pretty good teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith. As always, you can reach out to me on Twitter at CFL underscore fan, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. I appreciate you checking this out. And until next time, that's my view from the 40.